So we have a couple scary Christmas games that I want to check out in today's video. The first one is called Krampus of Kirkwall. I don't know where Kirkwall is. I don't even know why they call Santa Krampus. Or is that just like a joke? Is that a joke that I don't understand? Because Krampus sounds like when you're trying to be funny saying that you have stomach cramps. But here we have some very blurry video. No, we don't. We don't have blurry video. We have blurry video game. Oh, there we go. So it's sold. Someone bought that tree. And I'm glad you found a tree you like. Yeah, I did. I mean, it's not the best tree I've seen, but it's all right. It gets the job done. Drive home safe. This weather isn't getting any better. And remember, keep the TV on. I always keep the TV on. I can't sleep when it's super silent. I feel like the silence is deafening or something. I need some noise in order to sleep. It's comforting in a way. Well, here we have some, like, late 80s, early 90s TV ad. And, yeah. This game just started off really weird. But you know what? I like weird. I'm a fan of weird. But if it gets too weird, then I'm kind of uncomfortable. Kind of just like, all right, calm down. But here we go. We have to open this box. And we have some Christmas decorations. Why am I dressed like this? I'm all in. I'm balls deep in the Christmas theme. So let's put the balls in there. There you go. To do. Find baubles. If they're all in the boxes, then I guess I don't really have to find the baubles, do I? Oh, yep. There's one. Am I about to see somebody? Am I about to see some shit? As cute as it is, I wish I hadn't feel like someone was watching me all the time. I also don't remember putting it here. Well, let me put it back. What the heck? Okay, do I have a complimentary horror game flashlight? Or is this it? Is this all I get? Because I'm scared. Hold on, let me see what this is. One gingerbread cookie that's been half eaten. The nail and press. I'm nailing and pressing your mom. I'm sorry, that made no sense. Kirkwall gripped by winter nightmare Krampus strikes amidst worst snowstorm in a decade. Warning. Kirkwall residents must follow their yearly Christmas warnings. Keep all doors and windows locked under no circumstances should you or your family leave the house. Tonight, I will catch Santa Claus. <laughs> Imagine seeing that on your TV. This Christmas, I want proof. Everyone at school... Dude, come on. What? Whoa, 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 whoa! What the heck kind of transition was that? I feel like I'm in a found footage game now. I think I am. It's December 21st, 2023. And I think I'm a young whippersnapper or something because I'm at least two feet tall. I can't even see out the window. Oh, crap. Oh, this is scary as shit. You gotta be kidding me. This is the only light that I get? Oh, crap. Oh, this looks terrifying. Oh, come on, Santa. I spent all that time. Putting together this shit. Dude said tonight I'll catch Santa. He's gonna catch these hands in a second. Whoa! That looked like Michael Jackson with a Santa Claus hat. Bro was scary. He said this Christmas. Click on the lights to untangle. Bro, untangling stuff is one of the worst horror games in real life. Like, how can you put like some headphones in a backpack? And then it just comes out tangled. You could neatly put wired headphones in your backpack. And I guarantee you, once you take it out after wearing the backpack for a while, it's just going to end up tangled. Okay, now I have to put the star up. That's always one of the last things to do, right? All right, there you go. Dude, my tree sucks so much. Good thing I live a sad, pathetic life and no one's going to see that but me. And the person who's probably going to kill me. Because if anybody else saw that, that would have ruined Christmas for them. They would have known somebody doesn't give a shit about Christmas. Please follow the provided instructions between December 1st. Do not approach anyone dressed as Santa Claus. You may only dress as Santa Claus in Kirkwall under the following. You are in a populated public area. It is between 9... Bro! Please comply with the following instructions to ensure your house is secure enough. So you can only dress as Santa from like 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. or some shit like that? What if you just want to wear Santa Claus because you want to get free... What the... F okay. Someone's already outside. Dude, sneaky hing. He's trying to break in. I'm sorry, everybody. He kind of looked like Michael Jackson just a little bit, though. But that's definitely Sandy Claus. That's definitely this new generation Sandy Claus. And I'm scarred in horror games from going in basements. Because the last time I went in a basement in a horror game... Oh, what the heck? Oh, shit, I thought I saw somebody's hand. Okay. What is this? 
Oh, okay. So these light up when I get the right one. One, two. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Damn, I'm good. Third take, Jay's in the building. Oh, I thought somebody was behind me. God damn. Oh, my! Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's cute. <laughs> you know, that's cute. That arch! Damn, that Santa had arch. Make sure to lock all doors and entrances. It is extra important to board up chimneys if you have one. That's such a late alert. I mean, of course, after I get clapped, that happens, right? Dude just slithered down my chimney, arched that back, made me act up, and now I'm dead. At least nobody has to see my ugly ass tree. I mean, the FBI, though, and that wasn't even scary. The FBI, once they investigate the crime scene, they're gonna be like, damn. This guy went out sad. That Christmas tree, all curved and shit, that thing had a Euro curve. That thing was more curved than a- Next game today's episode is called That's Not Santa. And if for one second you thought this guy was Santa, I have some land that I want to sell you in California. But we're going to start this up, and I'm going to investigate the noise. If it's from my parents' room, and I hear- OH MY- ah. Oh, look. you frightened me, child. Uh, I was just dropping off your gifts. I am Santa. And- and- after such a long night of delivering gifts to young children, I God. am parched. Damn, that shit's fat. think you could get me something to drink? That's a alien bussy. That's an Area 51 bussy. Bring the milk to Santa. All right, hopefully you're not lactose intolerant. And I don't know where you're going to be farting from because... Oh, no, it seems that I dropped the milk and made a little messy wessy. Um, Would messy, you mind messy, grabbing bro. Santa a towel messy, from the messy, bro. so I can clean up this mess? Okay, okay, <laughs> I got it. This guy reminds yeah. me of Salad Fingers, if anybody knows what that is. I can't believe I'm so old that I have to say if anybody knows what that is. But I need to give you a towel, right? All right, Santa Claus. Let me see where I can get you a towel. Dude made a messy wessy. Dude said I made a fucky wucky. Okay, let's get that big towel. Did I get it? Clean up Santa's mess? That sounds weird. Oh, crap! Santa? Santa, where the fuck you walkie are you? Mm, now let's play a little game of hide and seek. I'm going to hide, and you're going to find me. All right. <laughs> Oh, there you are. <laughs> you found me. This is kind of ridiculous. Try again. Andy's rat poison? That might come in handy later, no? Hopefully it does. I mean, there's just random rat poison. There Dang you are. Dang it. You found me again. I'm going to hide one more time. And if you find me, you win. What do I win? I guess we're going to find out soon. Probably in the bathroom, right? Right, buddy? Right, Santa? Right, Tanta? Hey, you? kid, you found Damn. me. You really did it. I, I I didn't think you would ever do it. I'm I'm so proud of you. I'm I'm Basket Brandon, and and I'm really proud of you for finding me and my secret little <clears throat> my secret little basket. I'm so proud of you. Anyways, keep playing this game. It's really awesome. It's got a good ending, or uh, it's got two endings. So be sure to replay the game and find them both. Anyways, I'm Basket Brandon, and I love you. I really do. I'll, I'll see you in the next uh, game. Bye. <laughs> I love you too, man. I love you too. I've always loved you. Basket Brandon. That's my bestie right there, everybody. I love him. I love Basket Brandon. Oh, oh there you are. dang it. You win. Go to Meet living, me in the room. living room. Dude, <laughs> Santa, fake Santa, mall Santa, whatever you are. What are we doing with ourselves? Oh, good job playing hide and seek. Ah, but after all that hiding and seeking, I'm quite hungry. Do you think you could bring me some cookies? But before you bring them to me, could you sprinkle a little bit of sugar on them? Make sure it's sugar, not anything else. <laughs> I'm about to sprinkle some nut dust on your forehead if you don't shut up. Oh, rat poison. All right, hold on, hold on. I got you, Santa. I got you. 
Okay, give me one second, buddy. Is he looking at... Oh, dang. Dude giving me that look. All right. So, I think I know where the cookies are. I saw them earlier. This right here, right? How do I grab them? Do you want me to grab the rat poison? I'm going to do it right in front of him. Just so he knows. I just want him to know what's up. How do I get the cookies? I've never done the whole cookies to Santa thing. I've never done the rat poison thing. <laughs> Oh, I thought he said that. But here go your special green radioactive cookies, buddy. Haha, <laughs> 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 he died and you killed him. Go find the other ending. So I didn't know that this not Santa dude is actually a good guy, I guess, because it seems like we got a bad ending. But here we go. I'm going to give you some extra sugar on the cookies, even though cookies already have a lot of sugar. Breaking news. Skinwalker on the loose. There's been a skinwalker located in Spam County. A family has disappeared and the police are currently on the search for this killer and the missing family. Also, I hate my job and I'm tied to my desk right now. That's right. I need help, please. I don't want to write that news anymore. I'm located at 438 West Susan Ave. Anyways, yeah, you got the bad ending, so you should probably replay the game. Yo, this was the bad ending, so go get the good one. I already got the good one and then I got the bad one. I guess I really do enjoy all the bad shit because I just love that evil stuff. I'm gonna play one more Christmas horror game because I like you. I really like you. This one's called The Christmas Tree and damn, that's sadder than The Christmas Tree from the first game. I'm hungry. Maybe there's something in the kitchen. Why is my window wide open? I think I have milk and an apple. After I will go to sleep so that Santa can deliver his presents. Is that why you left the window wide open? The kitchen is on the right. Bro's inner monologuing to himself and he's reminding himself where the milk and apple are. But there we go. That's weird. It seems to be locked. Well, unlock it. Somebody's in the room. Could it really be? Oh, yeah, it's Santa Claus. It's Santa Claus. Let me see that ass, Santa. Ew. Whoa. He really was Santa. <laughs> And he left me a complimentary horror game flashlight. How did you know, Santa? What's this for? So I could see his ugly ass in 4K. So there's no excuses. Why? Por qué? Is this my house or an apartment? Why is the hallway so long and dong? Oh, God. Santa Claus? I I've been good this year. <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck you mean? It was all just a dream, I guess. You <laughs> That's not funny, Santa. Shit ain't funny, Santa. Thanks for playing. Well, um, yeah, made it 24 hours. Alright. Hey, made it 24 hours. I'll make it clap for something made in 24 hours. Alright, everybody, but that is gonna do it for some random horror Christmas games. Hopefully, you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!